keep in mind this name, Gerald Massey, M-A-S-S-E-Y, I think it is. Uh, Gerald Massey was a very, very profoundly interesting Egyptologist. Uh, back in the early 1900s, um, Gerald Massey was in New York. He was a scholar of the Egyptian world religion, and he wrote many, many volumes and volumes of books. Gerald Massey is an extraordinary uh, Egyptologist, but he once said in one of his books, the quote was very good. He said, they, T-H-E-Y, they, whoever it is, they're going to find it very difficult. Those who have accepted the authority as truth, rather than the truth as the authority. So people have accepted authority because, uh, what is it, what do you mean authorities? Well, they are the people who write down what you are supposed to do and what you, the way you are supposed to live. They are the authors of the law. They decide what the law should be, so they write it down and they're called scribes, and they're scribbling the scripture, they're scribbling scribes, and so they're writing down how you should think, how you should dress, how you should operate in this world, and then you follow them, whatever they tell you to do, you follow them, and then they are the authorities, they are the ones who authored the document you call the law. Now, when you when I'm talking about early Christianity... Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about when I say that early Christianity has no bearing whatsoever on today's Christian religion. Christianity today looks nothing like it did a thousand years ago. Nothing. Uh, in, the mo- in the motion picture world, Steven Spielberg made a movie called uh, The Raiders of the Lost Ark. And being Jewish, uh, he did a movie, and it was a very famous movie, very extremely well done, about uh, Indiana Jones was sent to find the lost Ark of the Covenant. Well, we talked about that before. And, and so where does Indiana Jones go first to find the lost Ark of the Covenant, or the lost Ark of the Hebrews? He goes to Tibet, not to the Holy Land. No, Tibet is where he goes first. And then after he goes to Tibet, he finds what he needs, the information he needs now to find the lost Ark of the Hebrews. So after Tibet, where does he then go? Well, he goes not to the Middle East, not to Israel, not to the Holy Land, but from Tibet he goes directly to find the Ark in Egypt, not not the Holy Land. There's nothing holy in the Holy Land. It's all a story. And so he goes to Egypt, and be damned if he doesn't find the lost ark in Egypt. Why? It's because Steven Spielberg is a lot of things, but stupid is not one of them. He knows exactly what he's doing when he puts that into a movie, that the Indiana Jones archaeologist finds the holy ark of the covenant in Egypt, because it's an Egyptian symbol that has nothing to do with with the ancient Hebrews, period. Because there was no such a thing as ancient Hebrews. There was no ancient Israel. And so the next thing, this is dealing with uh, stories in the Bible which are not in the Bible and which are not being explained to the people. The lost ark is an Egyptian ark, not a Hebrew ark. There was, never was a Hebrew ark. It was a, just a story. But in the, in the next movie... Spielberg made was the uh, after Raiders of the Lost Ark. The next one was the uh, uh, the hunt for the uh, what was it called the the Last Crusade, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. And what was the Last Crusade? Well, the Last Crusade was for the cup of Christ, for the Holy Grail, for the Holy Cup that Jesus was supposed to have drank from. And the Last Supper. Well, the Last Supper is a metaphor. There was no Last Supper. It has nothing to do with people eating and drinking together in a supper. It's, it has to do with the with the Jewish symbol of the uh, the uh, the Passover the Passover meal. That's a whole story we could get into if we haven't, but not now. 
So in the in the Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, he's looking for the cup of Christ, the cup of the Grail. And so we read in the Bible uh, today. You can read in the Bible a point where Jesus says in the New Testament, He said, "Upon this rock I will build my church." Now this is important because it's in the New Testament, and it's supposedly Jesus saying this. And Jesus said, Upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And so the Catholic Church, the the Roman Church, said, Oh, upon this rock, well, a rock in in the ancient Greek was Petra, P-E-T-R-A. Petra is a rock in the ancient Greek language. In the ancient world, Petra was a rock. And so the, 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 the Catholic translators, they said, oh, well, it was misspelled. See, a spell here in the old ancient document, P-E-T-R-A, Petra. But actually, it was misspelled. It was P-E-T-E-R, Peter. And so Peter was the rock upon which Jesus is going to build his church. And so they will tell you, well, the word Peter actually, I guess, comes from Petra. Uh, and, and, and in one way or another, it comes from Petra, because Peter was like a rock. You know, he's like he was just a a big, strong guy, and he was just like a rock. And whatever he did, it was just like a big, thunderous rock. And so that's what we call Peter Petra. No, no, and no. When Jesus said, "Upon this rock I will build my church," go back and look at the word rock in the encyclopedias and dictionaries of the Bible, and you will see the word rock is a word Petra, P-E-T-R-A. Petra is a stone rock, a huge mountainous rock, and I do mean huge mountainous rock. In the country of Jordan, if it wasn't at war, so much bloodshed going on in the Middle East right now, if you had the time and the money, you could go to the country of Jordan and take a tour, and they will take you out to this enormous rock that you have to go through these canyons to get to. And when you come to it, it's a huge cathedral, a beautiful cathedral temple to an ancient gods in the country of Jordan, in that big temple out in the middle of nowhere, carved out of a huge mountain, is called Petra. Why? Because Petra is a stone. And the temple is one solid piece of stone that's chipped and chipped away and, and, and made into a beautiful temple. It's extraordinary. Well, in the movie, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, they've uh, Indiana Jones and his father... Sean Connery, if you remember, if you saw the movie, uh, they, uh, they're they looking for the lost, uh, you know, the, the, the cup of the grail, and it takes them to Petra in the country of Jordan. And they go through the canyons, getting to this enormous temple that anybody can go to today if you're a tourist. Uh, and it's called Petra because it's a one big rock. Well, an important, important point here is that Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my church. And, and the rock is translated Petra, not Peter. P-E-T-E-R, Peter. No, Petra. P-A-T-R-A, Petra. P-E-T-R-A. And so what I'm saying is that now we see that the real story of Christianity Jesus said is based on Petra, that that stone uh, mountain that's carved into an incredibly beautiful temple in, in the country of Jordan. Jesus says in the Bible, that's the basis for my church, period. My church, I am basing on Petra. So you better go back and look at the country of Jordan and then look at Petra, the great temple that was, cho- that was you know, carved out of the mountain of stone upon this rock. I will build my church. Well, that's exactly what it is. 
And so when Indiana Jones and his father, Sean Connery, they go inside the great temple of Petra, and what do they find but one of the Knights Templars? One of the Knights Templars and the Knights of St. John, and he's kneeling before an altar with all of these different uh, candles and, and holy uh, things all on the altar, and he is protecting, he's standing guard over the very foundations of Christ in the Christian religion is in Petra, the, the, the carved temple out of a rock. And so if you really are interested in Christianity, you might want to forget all of this nonsensical stuff you've ever heard out of Hollywood and, and out, out of the churches and go back and read the scripture and it says, upon this rock I will build my church. Signed Jesus. Now I'll go mm. back and look at Petra in the in the country of Jordan, and you will find that there's a whole new story based on what we today believe is called Christianity. No, Christianity is a dark and, and profound understanding of that great temple in the country of Jordan called Petra, and who built it, and why did they build it the way they did. And that's the foundation of real Christianity is in Petra and the country of Jordan has got mm. nothing to do with Rome, nothing to do with Babylon or any of the rest of the ancient places in the world, but right. Petra. Right. 